lonely roar echoes across Zambia's Lua Plain. There is no answer. There hasn't been for years. Poaching has wiped out her kind. For five years, she has had to survive alone. But this year, her world could change. Will she finally find a mate? Or will she remain the last lioness? In the heart of this isolated wilderness lives one lonely lioness. She is known as Lady Lua, and she's in her prime. All her instincts drive her to find a mate, have cubs, and form a pride of her own. But she can't. She's alone here. There isn't another lion for hundreds of kilometers. In the dense grasslands, Lady is all but invisible. Her tawny coat provides perfect camouflage and an animal grazing in the tall grass wouldn't see her coming. But wildebeest prefer short grass. They keep to the open plain where hopeful predators have nowhere to hide. Usually, lions hunt in teams that can surround prey and drive it into an ambush. Lady has no such advantage. She must stalk her prey alone, in plain sight. She must choose her target well. An animal on the outskirts of the herd that has let its vigilance slip. Wildebeest warn each other of danger, so she must approach unseen by the entire herd. Just one glance in her direction, one snort of alarm, will ruin the hunt. Just like that, the hunt is over. With the herd's vigilance peaked, it's not worth another try. Without the support of a pride, Lady Lua must succeed the first time or go hungry. She's obviously following me because she's looking for company. She's alone. As much as I care for Lady Lua, 
I know that I must keep my distance. She's a wild animal and we want to keep it that way. We cannot allow her to close the distance too much because that would invariably invite an accident. And that is the last thing we want to have.